Now you grew up in a in a golden era of pop music, and you tell me about you know the impression that the Ed Sullivan Show, American Bandstand, Hullabaloo. Oh, Shindig! I mean, all of those were just things that you would just just fixate on. You would just get mesmerized when you were watching it. Um, black and white sound, audio quality was terrible, but the music itself just imprinted itself on my brain. And um, I think at one point my brother took me to a Murray the K show in Brooklyn, and uh, it was the first time I'd ever seen anything live before. I really remember little Stevie Wonder, this little blind kid getting up on stage with this huge harmonica, little Anthony and the Imperials. Uh, you know, these, these things were just so great to get you going and to get you thinking about it. But who would even realize later on as I grew older how important they would actually become yeah. in my life and in the world of music itself. So it was just really um, a great experience to grow up having all of this coming into me that would soon come out later on in life. So, When did you start becoming aware of the bass in this music? Um, you know, it's, it's funny. The bass came later on. I was really drawn to drums at first. Okay. And uh, I'll never forget after watching uh, the Beatles on Ed Sullivan for the first time, going around the corner to my music store and buying a, a set of drumsticks and then going to the supermarket uh, around the corner and getting a bunch of boxes that became my drum kit. And um, my mother didn't like that too much when she came home and heard me pounding on them. But uh, I had a friend who lived on my block in Astoria where I grew up, and uh, he got a drum kit. And uh, I went and played that kit, and I sat behind it, and I just picked up the sticks, and I was just able to play it right away. I just did... So that was it. I mean, I, w I was destined to play. It, w it wasn't a matter of what, it was just a matter of, of when. So um, at one point, my uh, older brother uh, had an acoustic guitar, and uh, I was thinking about playing bass. And I, don't, I don't exactly know why I wanted to do this, but I wanted to turn the acoustic guitar into a bass guitar. Oh. And uh, I learned a very hard lesson in physics when I tried to do that because <laughs> as I tuned the bass up, as soon as I got close to it, the neck snapped off and almost took me out. Oh. But uh, <laughs> lesson learned. My brother then got a Hofner, uh, an imitation Hofner bass, okay, right. and, uh, and he gave me that. Oh. And that was when I really kind of started playing at that point. So that was really the beginning of it back you, then. You and Jocko started off on the drum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good company to be in. <laughs>